Our young adults pastor. That is still very strange to hear. But uh, hi, I'm Ian. Um, that's my beautiful wife right there. This is our, uh, our first, we just completed our first full year of ministry leading encounter. And uh, so if you, you're not familiar with the ministry, um, there's the vision. I think there's no better way to hear uh, like what a ministry is and hear what our vision is. So at Encounter, we aim to give young adults the, the opportunity to advance from adolescence to adulthood and take those places of influence by encountering God, encountering people, and being prepared for the next steps of life. A lot of times you hear that young adults are next, but I'm here to tell you right now that young adults are now. If you look at the ministry leaders throughout this night, the people that are leading and leading worship on Sunday mornings that are our youth leaders, our young adult leaders, they're all millennials. They're all, even Generation Z is starting to come up and be the leaders of the church. Young adults are right now. And as a ministry, Encounter is, is a unique place. Within a 30-mile, 15-mile radius, there are no young adult ministries that, that support young adults at this level. We're the only one. So I'm proud to say we are the best young adult ministry in a 15-mile radius. <laughs> At a time when, when young adult ministries are, are, are closing or, or diminishing in size, in 2018, our first year of taking over, we had a transition. Pastor Carl handed over the reins. We did not lose. In terms of numbers, we did not drop one person the entire year. We averaged 65 people through the entire year of 2018, and, and it was great. We, didn't, we were warned by several people, 30% may leave, and we did not lose a single person. Thank you. <laughs> Hebrews 10, 24, and 25 says, Let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assemblies of ourselves, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much more as you see the day approaching. That was our focus for 2018. We wanted to develop a community that people loved each other. They spurred one another on to love and good deeds, and I'm here to tell you we succeeded. When you walk into a Monday night, it is like being part of a family. There's, it, whether it's your hundredth time there or your first time there, you feel like you're at home. And that's because of our small group environments. We've, we've focused heavily on them over you know, the past few years. And through those small group environments, people have developed small communities that were never afraid to expand into a Monday night. So here we are today, 70 people per week. We're up five, five people per week here in 2019. So we're really, really excited. We're continuing to grow, which is such a, we're, millennials are known as being flaky and not wanting to be, going to places, but every single person on a Monday night chose to be there. Their parents didn't drop them off. They had to go, so they, they chose. So Colossians 2, 6 through 7 says, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. So as we focused on community for 2018, 2019, we're taking that, that width and we're making it deeper. You know, I, I, as, the, as the rising tide of expectation for what the Lord can do through each and every person at Encounter, as that tide rises, as we have greater expectations, depth only has to come. The, the deeper the water gets because the tide is pulling in and in. And I see it every Monday night, the depth and passion that people have for the Lord, and we're going to seek that and push for it. And that starts with our small groups. We're launching our newest small group this year, led by Taylor and Angelo Idoni, called Equip. Yep, that deserves a, a root. Yep. So at Equip, we are, literally, we are equipping young adults, whether they're college age, you know, first job, second job, third job, to share the gospel, being equipped to share the gospel in all areas of their life. We're focusing on deeper series topics, more, you know, we, we study the book of Jonah, we're going to go study the book of uh, Hosea and his beautiful wife, Gomer, <clears throat> which is the best name of all time. That'll be my first daughter's name, Gomer. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to urge you, my wife does not like that. <laughs> I'm going to urge you to dream with me here beyond 2019. Um, Encounter has a dream. We see the Freedom Center Church. Every time you say Freedom Center, the Freedom Center, you have to do 10 burpees per Pastor Kyle. It's Freedom Center Church. All right. So 2019 and beyond, we see Freedom Center Church as a pe place people can go and be just impacted. There's so many great things that happen, and we believe that there's more available. So at Encounter, we want to build a barn. We want to build a barn. We're 1% of the way to this dream. We, have, we need board city approval. We would be raising the funds, not drawing from the general fund. But what this would be, would, there would be a coffee shop right in the front door. People can go five days a week. There's, we could have weddings. Encounter would meet there. We could have events. People would go to a place that isn't attached to a church 
and be impacted by the love of Christ that would permeate through that building. There's so much, so many details. I'd love to talk to you about it. Come see me afterwards. Thank you so much for your time. Right on time.